Hey, it's Natalie from Natalia Style, and today I'm so excited to be partnering with Senrev to bring you a review and comparison video between the mini Fiore bucket bag and the original Fiore bucket bag. Now, I am a huge fan of the Senrev brand, and since introducing their infamous Maestro bag, they have really expanded their array of beautiful handbags that are very practical and very transitional as well. I think the brand's done a really great job at expanding those categories and finding designs that are really interesting. Now, probably my favorite bag from the Senrev line is the Aluna. It is just a beautiful crossbody micro bag. It's very practical. I love that it also converts into a backpack. It's one of my favorite bags in my entire collection from Senrev or from other brands as well. But I was super excited to have the opportunity that the brand afforded to me as an ambassador to test out the mini Fiore bucket bag as well as the original Fiore bucket bag. So I'm gonna be giving you an overview of both styles, what's similar about them, what's different, as well as a comparison of the different leather styles as well. So here we have the Senrev Fiore bucket bag. So this is the original style and this bag was originally introduced in a vegan leather. It is called the Amica uh, Misto Leather. So here we have it. So this is actually in the color Chestnut and it's very similar to my Chestnut Aria. I'd say they're very similar in tone, but obviously there's a little bit of a difference because this one is a vegan leather product and my Chestnut Aria is a real pebbled leather product. So this is the Fiore Bucket Bag. As you can see, it's very sizable. It's a really good hobo size and it does fit quite a bit. So I'm gonna be showing you what you can fit inside here and kind of comparing it to the mini Fiore bucket bag as well. So overall, this bag seems very functional. It has a classic kind of drawstring closure at the top here. It also boasts some secret pockets and this is something I really love about this design. I think it's really smart because you have this softer kind of um, shell here that's you know kind of supple like a bag, like a beautiful, velvet sack, but then you have these more rigid corners that really add structure to the bag, but also double as functional pockets. So for example, um, you have three pockets here. So I actually have my cell phone and this is a Google Pixel 3 XL. So it's a fairly large phone. I'd say it's comparable to an iPhone plus. Now I can actually fit it in here into the side. I can also fit it into the back. I can fit it on this side as well. So you have lots of options. And I think now that we're in this kind of transitional time where you might need your hand sanitizer or your face mask at arm's reach, I think these pockets are really smart and really great for easy access. Now, obviously this bag is very functional. It has a lot of uh, features and a lot of features that you would find on other Senrev bags as well. So like many of the Senrev Meister bags, you have this toggle here, which is so smart. You can use it as a keychain. You can use it to attach like another pouch that you need. I think it's just really smart that they include this. And it's also on the mini Fiore as well. There are some internal pockets as well. Uh, I'm just going to open it up and I'm going to kind of list it because it's a little bit hard to see but this is pretty much what the interior looks like. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but for a bucket bag, I find there's quite a bit of organization in here, which is really helpful because a bucket bag is kind of one of those styles that really just, you can just shove your whole life inside. So there is one, um, I will call it a tablet uh, pouch area. So it has like a little snap. You can snap it open and stuff your tablet in there. There is another pouch towards the back that doesn't have a snap, so it's kind of like a free pocket. You can use it maybe to put another, um, like a little pouch. And there's also a zippered compartment as well. So there's quite a bit of organization in here. And I do like that the zippered pocket offers that little bit of security because a bucket bag is one of those styles that you can kind of just reach in. I do find in Toronto though, I feel pretty secure wearing a bucket bag. It's not something I would necessarily bring on an international travel trip, but for day-to-day -day use, I do love the bucket bag, especially for summertime. I think it's a really easygoing style. Now, to give you a comparison, here is the Senrev Mini Fiore bucket bag. Now, this little mini bag is absolutely adorable. It's just the cutest little size. I've been using this bag for the past few days, and so far, I really like it. I do think it's really well appointed. It does fit quite a bit. I would say it fits a little bit more than the Aluna bag as well because it does have that kind of open structure so you can stuff a little bit more. So if you're looking for a mini bag from Senrev that does 
pack a little bit more, I would say this is a really great option for you. I'm going to show you what I have in this handbag right now, kind of like an old school what's in my bag video, but you can really get a sense of how much you can fit inside this bag. So first off, I actually have a pair of sunglasses. This is a Ray-Ban uh, sunglass case, so it's not like a super big one, but it does fit and it doesn't stick out. So I think that's really helpful to know. Obviously, I have my cell phone and just like the Fiore bucket bag, you can put it in the back. It will stick out a little bit, but I think for like quick little things, it's really great. I also have my card case, my St. Laurent card case, and I have my key case holder. This is so essential for me. I absolutely adore this uh, SLG from Louis Vuitton. It just works so well with my building because I don't have a key fob, so I have the card on the back and it just taps. It's honestly one of the greatest things. Then I also have my car key as well. So overall, this bag really does fit quite a bit for such a small size. It's very flexible, and like I showed you, you can't even fit a pair of sunglasses in here. Now, similar to the Fiore bucket bag, somebody's honking outside, but anyways, um, it also has a little clip, which I think is so smart. If you wanna put your keys on this, if you use a regular keychain, I think this is so handy and very practical. Um, you also have like a little cell phone pouch here. It's a little bit, maybe it wouldn't be deep enough for my cell phone because it's fairly large, but you can use it for other things like lipstick, pens, etc. And that's it. So there's only really one kind of, um, just kind of like a slip case inside. So it's not as um, organized as the full size Fiore bucket bag. But again, for a mini bag, I don't find that to be a problem. I think it's really smart and still offering you this little key clip I think is really cute too. Um, the inside of this one is the classic Send Rev blue suede interior, which is so beautiful. I love that, you know, this bag could be a complete abyss if this was black inside, but hopefully the camera will pick up um, you can kind of see that it still is very visible because it has that light blue interior. It's this beautiful suede. It's very soft, also very durable. All of my Senrev bags haven't gotten dirty inside. I'm pretty careful though, but it's just like a nice feature to have. I think it feels really luxurious like, you know, a high-end luxury bag should to have a leather interior. Now comparing the interior of the classic Fiori bag, you still have that blue interior. However, it is a vegan material inside, which is still really nice. Um, my Gucci bag also has a micro suede faux leather interior as well. So I'd say it's on par with those luxury brands too. Obviously, as I described before, there's a lot more organization going on in this bag. And I think if this would be like a really great bag for like a mom or somebody who was maybe like a producer, always on the go. You just want a bag that you can just stuff your entire life into, you know, a book, a notebook, your day planner, your iPad, like all of that stuff. I think this is really great. And I did an entire Instagram story series about what you can fit into this bag. And I'm seriously impressed. Um, for example, like this is the uh, Senrev bracelet pouch. This is a fairly large pouch. Like normally I would take this traveling if I was carrying one of my larger totes with me, but this one actually fits right inside here. You don't see it and it's fairly tall. So it's really nice that you can kind of double up your bags and take it with you to go. As I explained before, this does fit a classic iPad, like 10 to 12 inches or whatever the standard size of an iPad is which is great if you have a tablet with you. I think you probably could fit an iPad Pro, one of the smaller ones inside as well, but maybe not in the slip pouch, but just in its own case, which is really great and versatile as well. I guess now um, I would like to do, I guess, a little bit of a comparison in terms of the design features. So as you can see, they are very similar um, with some differences, but overall the inspiration is there and I think they really created a beautiful line where you have you know, a mama bear size and a mini bear size. So some features that I really like on these bags, obviously, are feet. For me, I can't have a bag without some feet. I, it just drives me insane, especially when you have like a bucket bag or something more substantial and you prop it on a table and it just kind of like flops over, or falls over even worse. It's just so nice to have a bag with structure and it also protects your bags because you know, you're not ruining the corners and corner wear does happen. It, you can't avoid it. So having those feet, I think is super important and I'm really happy that they put it on the mini bag as well. I think that's a really great improvement and I think they're really listening to their customers. 
Now, another feature that I think is really beautiful and I like, and I don't want to mess it up because I worry I won't be able to put it back, but we have these beautiful side ties that are adjustable. So because I'm pretty tall, I have it on the tallest, like the longest setting, but it's just like a really beautiful way to tie this up. And it kind of adds like a little bit of a feature to your bag and also is functional. So the mini bag also has that here. Um, I think it was done here on the side, so you can kind of like tuck it in behind, which I think is really nice. It kind of jazzes up your bag, or you can just have it simply here. I have it on the longest setting, again, because I'm 5'9", I do usually need the longest setting, unless, you know, I wanted to make this into a shoulder bag, I probably could as well. Now, my favorite feature of this bag, and just something that really drew me to the design in general, is this beautiful back pocket. There is something about this that reminds me of like a beautiful tulip and this bag in red looks exactly like that. I really hope it comes out in orange. I think it would be super beautiful, but it's just something about it like the overlapping. It's just like this beautiful design feature, very unique and very different, but kind of like echoes uh, Sen Rev's very minimalist and functional beauty that they have in their design DNA. I just love this back pocket and I love that it's functional. So far I've been using this to stash my mask away, like when I go out on walks I can take off my mask when there aren't a lot of people around, put it in the back and it's just, just a really nice functional design. So you also have that same back pocket on the Fiore bucket bag as well. It's just a really beautiful Kind of detail and I think I, I don't know there's something about scallops to me that's just really pretty and anything kind of tulip shaped to me is just really nostalgic and beautiful so I really like that about this bag. Um, one feature that I do prefer on the mini Fiore bucket bag is this beautiful metal toggle here I think it's just really I don't know it just really feels nice so you just pull this little loop and you cinch it up like that and you have this really nice gold toggle here. You could probably, I think this would be really cute because you could add your own like charms. I know a lot of girls like to personalize their bags with little charms and I wonder if Sendrev might come out with, I know that they've had some charms in the past but I think it would be really beautiful if you can like add like a personalized like keychain or like some kind of memento. I think it's really nice that there's this little D-ring here. It's just really beautiful. I love the gold hardware personally. I'm, I'm a huge fan of gold hardware. I think it's just really beautiful and rich and gold and black. You just can't go wrong with that combination. Now, this mini Fiore bag comes in the Amica Pebbled Leather. So this is a real leather product. And I'm really happy that the brand has expanded to offering the leather in this style. And to me, I just adore this. This is honestly such a beautiful leather piece. This new soft pebbled leather is just so beautiful and buttery and soft. I honestly can't stop stroking it. It's so nice. My boyfriend was so impressed with the quality of it too. He's really into anything leather and like high quality products and he was really impressed with this section here as well as the really cool contrast between the buttery soft leather with the classic pebbled leather. So this is more, the pebbled corners are more of the kind of leather you would see on the uh, pebbled Maestro bag, the pebbled Aria bag that you're very familiar with, with Sen Rev. And I really like the contrast between the two. It kind of gives it a little bit of interest and also allows you to have like a soft, soft leather bag, but give you some of that kind of hardware on the corner. It's just like a really nice combination and I think it's really beautiful. So this is a vegan product. This is the Amica Pebbled Leather and this is the first time I've tried a vegan leather bag from Senrev and it's a very interesting experience for me because I'm so familiar with the leathers from the uh, Mimosa leather that's very similar to like NAP with um, Louis Vuitton or the classic pebbled leather which is like a Saffiano leather and it's very tough wearing. Now I will say it's interesting comparing the soft part. It's very supple, it's very soft, but I do like that it does still have that structure. It stands up a little bit more and it's, I think it's a lot more durable as well. Like I don't think this would scratch, which is something to take note. And if you are interested in vegan leather bags, I would definitely consider, you know, checking out Senrev's vegan offerings. The Amica Misto leather on the sides as well is very interesting. It's stamped very deep. So if you're looking for like a croc embossed leather that's very rich and very supple and really does look like alligator. I'd really recommend this. It's just a beautiful print and looks very realistic. Um, one thing that overall I'm really impressed with for a vegan leather bag is how beautiful the stitching is. 
and comparing it to my real leather Senrev bags, I think they've done an amazing job at carrying that quality throughout their product line to a vegan offering that has just really immaculate attention to detail. And like I explained earlier, I really do like the micro suede, uh, the faux suede interior. I think that's really nice that they've kept that consistent and they didn't go the way of like a fabric interior. I think it's nice to maintain that beautiful luxury that Senrev is known for. But actually, I think I just realized that I do have the real dragon leather, so you can kind of compare and they are very similar. Obviously this one's a little bit different because you get a bit more like gradient in the actual color of the leather. But I have also a cart folio card case here, which I would say is very similar. It also has that really deep embossing similar to this as well. So I really like kind of comparing the two and the texture is really nice. The way they've really embossed this leather made it really deep and just you know, the whole design idea between the contrast between the supple vegan leather here and then the more hard wearing durable sides. So for a size comparison, I have both here and I will do some mod shots as well. So I would say that the Fiore bucket bag is about three times the size of the mini Fiore bucket bag. That's just an estimation, but based on what I can fit inside, I'd say it's pretty accurate. This one is pretty light for a leather bag. Unfortunately, I don't have the leather counterpart to compare. This one is um, for a vegan bag, a little bit heavier, heavier than I expected, but still very wearable. And I like that, you know, the strap is also thick enough so it won't kind of pull on your back. That's something Senrev always thinks about. So you have this kind of, you know, larger shoulder strap here and um, that'll kind of distribute the weight of this bag. If you are looking for a new mini bag to add to your collection from Senrev, I'd highly recommend looking into the mini Fiore bucket bag, especially in this beautiful noir Amica pebbled leather. I think it's just absolutely stunning. This buttery leather here and the pebbled um, sides, I think it's just so structural, so beautiful and striking, but also very functional. This bag so far comes in, a, I believe, four colors. It comes in the noir, which I have here, it comes in a chestnut, comes in a red and it also comes in the beautiful green forest. If I didn't already have the forest Luna, I would love that in this bag as well. Just a beautiful color to consider if you want an alternative to a black bag. But I actually needed a black bag for summer because so many of my bags are in colors that I wanted something a little bit more neutral and something I could wear with everything. Anyways, if you are interested in purchasing this bag, I actually have a discount code for $50 off if you use my code NATALIEASKED. It's good for any purchase over $350. If you like this video, please remember to like and subscribe and you can check out more on my website, nataliastyleblog.com or on Instagram at Natalie Asked. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.